compromising position. Yeah. You're so cute. Your heads are too big for those little holes. Ew. Best car not. Nice cop you got there. Thanks. <laughs> If my husband does not divorce me by the end of the day, it's going to be a miracle. Good morning. It is Thanksgiving weekend here in Canada. Uh, today is Saturday. Uh, we do have a Thanksgiving tomorrow and Monday with Mark's family. So today I am Mark's assistant. Uh, Jess did come home last night, but we're letting her sleep. I'm sure her, her nightly social life doesn't have anything to do with how tired she is. She assures us it's just schoolwork. We're actually getting ready for corn. Mark is not giving up on the 60 acres of beans, but we're not waiting. Ground is too wet to even think about beans or planting wheat for the next week and we still have some scattered showers coming. So I think he said we're gonna take whatever days we can muster um, because the corn is a bit for more forgiving with this weather. So we're just uh, working away at cleaning out a bin and moving it over to another bin. I think it's gonna be dusty, I think it's gonna be loud, and I'm not really sure what I need for like protective gear. So I'm gonna go get my orders. going to be a two day job. Ugh. princess that's impressive getting a little antsy. I bet you he's gonna nose into some corn yet today, which is kind of exciting.
감사합니다. 
We are going to shell some corn by hand. Is that what we're doing? Is that yeah. what that's called? Shuck some corn. Shuck some corn. Oh, shucks. I do a moisture test on it just to see where we're at. Um, it's not that we can't do the corn. We can't get into the fields. It's just so saturated. This is a gravelly farm though. Yeah, so. it'd be the first one we could get on if we could can get on. And we feel like we didn't get as much rain down the road. It's crazy. I don't know what's going on this year. It's frustrating. It's, uh, this looks like it's gray enough. Yeah, but it's, like it's mucky underneath. Hmm. What's that? That's good. Good deal. But we're on the knoll, right? Yeah, but... My nightmares are made of this, just so you know. That's a nice cob you got there. Thanks. <laughs> Size matters. It does. It does some corn. <laughs> yeah, see? It's not even tipped back too bad. Oh. Time to get at it. Yeah. So that's what'll happen? Mold? Well, sorry? it's not bad, but I don't... Yeah. Why? Everywhere. This humidity has been tough on things. No kidding. Yeah, I'm not getting any dirt on my... Yeah, it's not too bad, but oh. your tracks are going to pick that up. Well, they're, it's... Well, they're, they're going to pick it up no matter what now. I guess. Our barley is coming up! She's a little wet, but... Well, that's that track. Oh yeah, that's the track to the backfield. It should come in it. Yay! Oh, the pail. You need a pail? Throw it in the cover crop? Yeah. Okay. This room cleaned up. Yeah. Oh. Dennis elbow, I can't break the cob. Oh, it's falling apart. Big kernels. What's your guess? 27. 27? I'll say... I'll say 25. So you usually have to add two points to hand shell. Okay. So my 25 would be 27? Well, if you're saying 25 on this, then it's probably 27 out in the field. Okay. Whoa, that was way off. <laughs> so 30. So it's 30%. That's still pretty wet. The one good thing about filming all the time is uh, it reminds me of things that I perhaps might have forgotten to do. And what I forgot is because this mom was an accidental pregnancy, like it was one that uh, she, she was scanned open, she ended up being pregnant, had a beautiful little black lamb here. Um, what I forgot that I was gonna have to do, because she wasn't vaccinated because she was open, um, I'm gonna actually have to give the antitoxin to this lamb as well as the, the ewe that had uh, the set of twins in the latest group that lambed. So I just wanna, you're so cute. So we're gonna do that right now. The clostridial vaccine I give to mom four to six weeks before they, uh, before they lamb, and it goes through her milk, and then the lamb would technically get the protection through mom. Uh, but because that mom wasn't in that group, she didn't get vaccinated, and she should have because she was pregnant. So this is kind of a plan B and uh, it's an antitoxin. Now this is the one that I give my bottle lambs and if you remember last time the two took an allergic reaction. So the good thing is I have things to, to combat that if I see one of, these, one of these lambs go down but it doesn't happen very often. All right, now I gotta catch it. Ooh. You get your head caught? Guys, your heads are too big for those little holes. There you go. Okay, okay, okay. I was able to catch it and give it some, and it looks okay. Goodness gracious. So, I gotta look for the ones down there. There's Mama. 79. Oh, there's one. Green 79. 
Oh, there's both of them. Okay. I think we got a bit of a leak down here. Uh, what's going on there, a little sinky boo? There we go. Good. I think Mark's getting wagons ready. I think that means we are going to actually attempt to do some corn. Maybe. We were wondering if this was mud, and Mark said it's all dead slugs yeah. from the soybean residue. Ew. Escar not. Escar not. <laughs> You're so romantic. Oh, I know. Taking me for some escar not. That's disgusting. Yeah, that's so freaking so, wet it is. Oh, yeah. We may regret this because uh, we just checked the radar and yet another band blew up. So there's a gray sky right to the west of us right now. So we may just get down the road and have to turn around and come back. This has been just such a frustrating few weeks. But we're going to try and it might, a lot of these systems have been just kind of sweeping by us and going straight north. Uh, we've been hit by a couple showers today but nothing too crazy. So we're going to, we're going to try to dodge dodge these little showers but I don't know you guys it's pretty gray pretty ominous I am running wagons again with this is a tractor we fixed the tire I think on this morning I think so it was on the air seeder we just dropped it for a bit we're gonna run some wagons with this tractor and the fence and uh, that way I don't have to get off and keep unhooking and hooking uh, just to keep me moving basically and we'll be using the pit this time at home which is awesome and quick. I just have to remember how to do everything, which um, makes me a bit nervous. Lucy, go! She, God, she gets right under our vehicles. It's the thing about getting getting a pup with a bit, bit of beagle in her. She gets that nose down. She doesn't pay attention to her surroundings. So you, we have to mark up the uh, header redone this fall. And I think he's just doing some last minute adjustments it's all the heading like the header height is all automatic and it's all based on sensors and stuff so I think he's just he's just over there doing some playing around with that head so I'm assuming he's just making sure it's okay If my husband does not divorce me by the end of the day, it's gonna be a miracle. A whole bunch of stuff has gone wrong in like the last half hour. Brought the first load of corn home. The leg plugged on me. Uh, we wondered, we saw a few wheat sprouts go through and we thought we had them out, flushed out. And apparently, I don't think we did. So the leg totally plugged hard. He said he's never seen it plugged this bad. And then, uh, Monty took me back to get the last set of wagons because it started to rain, so they got rained out. If the tractor wouldn't start, the battery was dead. So we just unhooked the fence, took it back, charged charged the big John Deere, got it home. I've still got it running, and now I've got the telehandler to clean the uh, mess that I guess I made. This has just not been a good season, and uh, We've only just barely started.
news, it's still plugged. So we have to climb. It's gonna totally fire me. Poor Mark climbed the bin. And um, this was the problem. Wheat sprouts. So that was from wheat harvest. That was not from me. So I think we live to see another day of marriage. Thought I better do one little, one little check on those uh, lambs I vaccinated today to make sure they didn't have a reaction. I checked them about 20 minutes after I gave them the needle and they were fine. But I thought this is a few hours later. I would just make sure they're all up. <laughs> ah, it's eating. Here it is. Hi buddy. Are you doing alright? You are. see your mom. Thank you. All right, now for number... What number were they? 79? There's mama. There's one. And number two behind her. So those two are good too. Excellent. tails. Wow. And done. One turd. <laughs>